Balloon dilation of the Eustachian tube is a fantastic option for people with Eustachian tube dysfunction. Eustachian tube dysfunction is when the person cannot equalize pressure in the space behind the eardrum with their outside environment. This can be especially troublesome for people who change altitude regularly, such as airline pilots and flight attendants, or people who fly regularly. It's also problematic for people who go to the mountains, or scuba divers who need to clear their ears or pop their ears while they're descending and ascending. As an avid scuba diver, I know the importance of being able to clear your ears. And there are several times where you just can't do that. The traditional way of managing eustachian tube dysfunction is usually with either decongestants or nasal steroid sprays. That is definitely worth trying. But when that medication no longer works for patients, we're left with few options. One option is placing a small pressure equalization tube through the eardrum that allows constant pressure exchange between the outside environment and the space behind the eardrum. However, if you're a scuba diver, someone who likes to swim a lot, this is not a good option. Certainly scuba divers cannot have any hole in their eardrum and go to depth. The procedure is often done with patients either awake in clinic or under a general anesthesia in the operating room, whichever the patient is more comfortable and tolerant for. It only takes about two minutes per side once the nose is numbed up. That's the trick though. I do spend about 15 to 20 minutes properly anesthetizing the nose with different numbing sprays and numbing gels and occasionally an injection of numbing medicine. Most patients tolerate the procedure extremely well, and over two-thirds of patients are happy that they did it and have an improvement in their eustachian tube function.